All right, so we got one more feature we're going to go over here. Um, it's called Virtual Camera, uh, version 4.0 beta, uh, also known as Import Offline Video um, into Archive. So, how does it work? Um, first of all, this is a really freaking cool feature. Um, got these backwards here. The overview. Uh, basically, users can create a virtual camera um, and import offline video. Uh, from action cameras, wearable cameras, um, offline cameras, uh, third-party system cameras that you have storage from, all that sort of stuff. You can bring it into the archive uh, by importing it, uh, by first creating a virtual camera and then importing it. Right. So how it works practically is from the main menu, um, you're going to select a virtual camera, which is in this screenshot right here. Um, and then you're going to, uh, once the virtual camera shows up, you're going to right-click on the camera. Uh, the virtual camera, which you named it, uh, and, and choose to import a single file or an entire folder of offline videos. And, and then you're going to see like a count um, of how much has been uploaded successfully. So you can do this from any desktop to any server. You don't need to be on the same machine, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, once you've imported it, um, the videos will show up on the timeline as contiguous uh, blocks of recorded information. So it'll be that green spot. Um, we're thinking about adding the capability to allow you to create a bookmark when you import as well because if you're not importing too many files and you've got like a significant gaps in the timeline and it's a little bit not so user friendly right now in the way that it works um, but yeah you can import the offline video and look at it so let's uh, create the virtual camera import the offline video and now everybody connected to the system can stream that video from, a, from, a, from that server, uh, just like they would a normal camera, um, which is really cool. So you can use this for all sorts of features out there. Um, if you've got robotics that are in your system, but they're not live streaming capable, um, you can send them out, have them do their rounds, come back, download the video and the file, put it into a specific camera, and it'll be there for operators to review later on. Uh, if you have drones, same thing. Uh, you, you can do a drone flight, come back in, download the video um, into the archive, and then have it available for operators um, all over the place. So like events um, for editing, potentially, or, or for sharing a video amongst people. Uh, any sort of offline video can be imported. Um, so it is a super cool feature. One I've been waiting for for a while. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I just took a video walking around the office today with my GoPro. Um, and so we're going to import this video uh, into archive. We're going to create a virtual camera and import this video into the archive so you guys can see how it works. So uh, to create a virtual camera, you go up here, you go to new, and then select virtual camera. Uh, and then you're going to be asked to assign it to a server um, and give it a name. So I'm going to call it uh, GoPro, or I'll call it Tony's GoPro. All right? Press OK. So now you can see I got Tony's GoPro here uh, showing up in the tree. So when that happened, uh, this other dialogue popped up. It went on my other screen, so you didn't see it. But this dialogue pops up. Um, so you can see it's a Tony's GoPro camera settings, basically. Um, and you have these two options, upload file or upload folder. Uh, you can also do the default uh, rotation. Uh, and you can also do here motion detection in the uploaded video, which is really cool. Right? Um, so. We'll go ahead and uh, uncheck that because we don't need to worry about motion this because the whole thing's motion. Um, and then we'll go ahead and press apply and then we'll do upload file. So GoPro imports um, information into the pictures uh, folder by default. So here you go, pictures, GoPro, today's date, hero one. And then I renamed this file virtual, ca virtual camera test when I imported it a couple seconds ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and press okay and then press and then you can see now that file is being uploaded to the NX2 server over there remotely from my desktop here to that device over there and it's being imported into the archive um, so click this button and say show on layout we're not going to see anything related to it yet because the file has not been successfully upgraded or uploaded sorry not upgraded you can upgrade a file so we are waiting on this to be uploaded successfully so let's give it a sec 81, 90%, and 100%. So there you go. It started playing in the background. You can see it's uploaded my uh, GoPro footage. This is me just kind of walking around our office earlier. 
um, so you can kind of see of a, how messy we are and how, how busy we are and uh, there's guys in there the guys in there doing a meeting that's our server room it's our web development team here right um, it's Christmas vacation so a lot of guys are out sick or traveling that's that's uh, Nate he's doing the integrations with the webcam integration uh, this is kind of the marketing department and licensing department we got Ink Fon here um, this is our CEO Richard Fayer on the right um, and then uh, this is the automated testing team uh, and knowledge and content and that's cat and our marketing team and that's pretty much our office um, so import offline video to archive um, uh, virtual camera feature very cool very cool feature uh, opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of integrating uh, wearable cameras uh, action cameras drone cameras robotics cameras um, third-party uh, pre-recorded video that you just want to have in your system as well and make available to other operators. So check it out in version 4.0.